Hey everybody, it's Michelle from Florida Keys Birding and Wildlife and I just wanted to make a little video um, to show you guys some crazy stuff that I've seen mockingbirds doing lately. Um, it's nesting time for them and it's time for babies and I've been hearing babies lately all over the place. I've been hearing them all around. Um, I finally found the babies after they fledged so I have some videos of that and then I also have a video of the mockingbirds dive bombing a squirrel that got too close to the nest it was um, in the back of my backyard it was pretty interesting so let's talk a little bit about nesting courtship behavior um, you know and uh, the babies and all that good stuff so um, so the nesting usually begins pretty early by late winter uh, down here in Florida and southern areas of the US um, the male will sing to defend the territory and to attract a mate and you'll often see them leaping a few feet in the air flapping their wings and singing um, so during the early stages of courtship um, it involves a male and the female chasing each other rapidly around the territory I do actually have a video of this as well it's pretty interesting um, they're like tackling each other <laughs> so um, the northern mockingbird will nest in uh, shrubs and trees usually about three to ten feet off the ground sometimes as high as 60 feet um, but most of the ones that I see around here are in bougainvillea bushes Suriname cherry bushes or palm tree limbs that are close to the trunk. Um, sometimes even like Christmas tree palms, coconut palms, um, stuff like that. So um, the female will start laying eggs as in a second nest while the male is still caring for the fledglings once they've you know built the first nest. Um, and the male will usually choose the nest site and will begin building several nests uh, before the female chooses one of them to lay or to lay in. So um, the northern mockingbird rarely ever re re uh, reuses a nest site so they usually don't come back to the same place. That kind of sucks because I found one that was really easily seen last year and I was hoping they would nest in the same place but I guess not. So um, mockingbird nests usually consist of dead twigs um, it's shaped in an open cup. They usually put grasses, leaves, trash, bits of plastic. They could use aluminum foil or shredded cigarette filters. Oh no, that can't be healthy. Um, the male constructs a, uh, a twig foundation while the a female will make the lining. Um, and then the nest is usually bulky in the foundation with twigs supporting um, the open cup with weeds, leaves, grass, you know, rootlets, moss, animal hair, plant down, whatever, whatever they find. Um, so the male will build most of the foundation and the female will add lining. So like I said, I've usually seen them in bushes and palm trees and stuff like that um, doing their nests. So once they have a, um, once they lay the eggs, they usually lay two to six eggs at a time. They usually do two to three broods per season. Um, and the incubation period is 12 to 13 days, while the nesting period is 12 to 13 days as well. So the baby mockingbirds will stay in their nest for about 12 days until they fledge. Um, usually the eggs are blue or greenish white splotched with uh, red or brown and the babies are born naked, blind, helpless with light gray down. So both parents will feed the nestlings while they're, um, while they're in the nest and uh, the young will leave the nest like I said about 12 days after hatching um, but they're not able to fly well for about a week. I personally have observed the babies hopping around on the ground, hopping around in trees and bushes, and the parents are usually really close by, um, and so it's best to leave them alone um, unless you find babies that are very fuzzy still or hairless, um, you know, that are and they're on the ground uh, and they're not in the nest. Um, so those babies will need help, and you'll want to take them to a wildlife center if you can't find the nest or the parents. So here in this part of the video, you can see the mockingbird dive bombing the squirrel. The squirrel is way too close to where the babies are. In this video, the babies were behind, okay, so you see this tree. Um, behind the tree, the babies were in those bushes and palm area back there. So the squirrel was too close for comfort. The mama or daddy mockingbird was quite upset they were really pissed off and look at look at that look at the display of 
aggression <laughs> here. He's really, really upset. So he gets rid of the squirrel. He goes back up to his area where the babies are and he's just kind of, you know, scanning around, looking around and stuff like that. Um, you know, they, they, they were not they were not happy about somebody being in the area. And now you can see the squirrel. There he is. See, he's on the, he's on the branch. See, see, he's not far from the nest. You saw when I panned down to where the squirrel was, um, it was behind my fence is where the nest was. Yeah, this poor little squirrel. He just wanted to get some seeds from the feeder, you know, it wasn't his fault. <laughs> poor little guy. See, now he's down there, he's just minding his business, he's getting some seeds, you know, he just wanted some food, he had no idea what he was walking into, um, you know, <laughs> but he was pretty persistent. You see, he was staying there, he was holding on to the tree, he wasn't moving, he was like, nah bro, I don't want your babies, I'm just trying to get some seeds down here, and look, look where the mockingbird is, the nest is back there, so you can see where he's at. See, he's watching. He's watching. He's on patrol. There we go. Yeah, it's focused now. There they go. Oh, okay. Watch this. Oh, they're coming back. Oh, there he goes. Oh Boom. Gosh. Bombs him. Bombs him right oh there. Gosh. And there goes the squirrel. So Poor guy. <laughs> so here's the babies. They were so cute. They were doing their little noises. Um, you see, he's got a little bit of fuzz left, but not much. So if you see a baby bird that looks like this, that's pretty much got all its feathers with just a tiny bit of fuzz. He's got a little fuzz on top. Um, but I mean, he's, he's good to go. And the parent was right there. You can't see it in the video, but the parent was pretty close by. So he was there, he was making his little noises and all of that. Um, you know, you can hear it here. So making his little sounds and hanging out. So, and he was like hopping around from different leaves and going here to there. And you'll see them doing that. You'll see them sometimes even on the ground. You'll see them hopping around. I don't think they can really fly fully yet at this point. Um, but yeah, the parents are close by. They're still feeding them. They're still crying for food and wanting to be fed and stuff like that. But they're figuring it out. They're figuring it out at this point. So um, if you find a baby bird like this, he's he's good to go. He's pretty good. His parents are close by. They're around. He's, he's fine um, as long as you see that. So just kind of sit back and observe them and don't bother them too much. Um, so so yeah, he's he's a cute little guy. So you can see here, here's mama or daddy feeding the baby. Yes. So that little, um, that little seed that, oh, see, here's another one. Oh, they just fed the baby. I had missed it. So you saw that little, um, that little red seed or whatever it was that they were feeding them. So there's this vine that grows along my fence edge. I believe it's called bitter melon. Um, it's kind of like everybody's like, oh, it's an invasive vine or whatever, but I let it grow because it looks pretty around my yard um, and it covers the um, the chickens, the chickens little fencing and roof and stuff like that. And then they like to eat it too. But that little red seed, um, they grab those and they're feeding them to the babies. So it's pretty cool. Um, and they also are feeding little gumbo limbo seeds to the babies as well. See, this one's begging. So, yep, see, he's got one, he little berries and stuff like that. Um, and I also heard that vitamin C is important. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> vitamin C is important for um, nesting uh, mockingbirds and babies as well. So a lot of times they'll be eating your tomatoes this time of year. So if you do see them eating your tomatoes or maybe some citrus or something like that, just let it be, support the growth of the bird population. Just plant some extra ones for yourself. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.